To run a nonprofit, you have to juggle a lot of things. Programs, boards, personnel, just to name a few. It can be tough keeping all these balls in the air. But probably even tougher is the funding. Money, dinero, bread, scratch, cabbage, cold, hard cash. You've got government grants, earned income. If you're lucky, you have endowments. And then, of course, you've got private philanthropy. That's its own set of balls. Small balls and big balls. $18 checks in honor of a bar mitzvah and then Libra-sized balls that you can only dream about. Big balls. To get your hands on any of these balls is a challenge. There's so many hoops to jump through. You have to bend over backwards and sometimes you have to just lie down and take it. It starts with letters of interest and pre-applications and needs assessments and concept papers and then full applications. You've got to have performance measures, best practices, evidence-based outcome matrix, deliverables, frameworks, learning, pilot programs, model programs, one-time grants, multi-year approaches, collaborations, cooperation, partnerships, and the dreamiest of dreams, merger explorations. Letters of support, memos of agreement, memos of understanding, agreements of understanding, operating metrics, data proxies. Wait a minute, what, what is a data proxy? We're grooving with action plans about asset building by change agents who do community building. And we disseminate data-driven deliverables. Oh yeah, we do. Social work isn't important, but social awareness is. And social capital and social enterprises, social entrepreneurs, social innovation, social marketing, social media, social movement, social networks, and social ventures. It's cutting edge stuff. And there can be fragile egos involved. And then you need to remember monthly reports, quarterly reports, annual reports, financial statements, audits, budgets, budget revisions, budget explanations, and interim financial expenditure reports. And in the end, you hope it all works and real change happens. Uh -huh.